In this video, I'm gonna show you how to personalize thousands of cold email, icebreakers and openers with the goal to really skyrocket your cold email efforts, get better appointment booking rate, positive reply rate and everything. I'm an agency owner for 10 years and I'm doing this for myself and my clients. And a huge difference is when you send them cold email and it's just personalized first email or company and when you send a cold email that has like a full personalized sentence or something, then you're just standing out, you're getting better results and everything's a lot easier. So bear with me, I'm gonna share with you an NA10 workflow. I'm gonna share with you the whole process, copy how to do it step by step. And if you can invest the next 15 or 20 minutes to actually mastering this skill, I'm super confident it will make wonders for you as well. So let's get started. How to create thousands of personalized cold email icebreakers. It's pretty simple. You need a list of prospects. Usually you will get those through Apollo, Morena, whatever you're using to scrape it. Probably you're doing this. I covered this in other videos, how to do that effectively. Then you need a simple NA10 workflow to put the list through and the results will be personalized icebreakers and openers that you can map in instantly, smartly, whatever you're using. And I'm going to show you in a second how it looks like. So my sending low reply rates, spammy feel, like if you're just sending personalizing it, first name, company name, this doesn't usually work out well anymore because people got used to it. A lot of people getting cold emails every day. And with personalized icebreakers, you get higher open rates, more replies, better meetings. And the goal is to here to show you the full automation process, how to actually get this done so you can send thousands of emails that are personalized with icebreakers. All right, so let's take a look at the NA10 workflow. This is the full workflow. We're gonna be going step by step through it, through each note and how to really think about this, not only just copy and paste, the workflow is pretty simple, but it's more about the strategy and everything in the background. And what's the goal? Let's say you have a list, you source the list through Apollo, Morena or whatever, and you have a list. I have it here in Airtable. You can have it in Google Maps or on Google Sheets or whatever. And the goal is to get these like additional fields. So here we have like fields like email, industry, company, company website, expertise, company description. And then we have these unique fields like personalization one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever you want to have. And it looks like this. So we have the normal fields in here. And then we have these like uh, personalized openers, personalized icebreakers that we can test and that we can have in different emails as well. How will you be using this when you have it ready in your CSV, either through Airtable or whatever, when it's ready, you will be able to actually map them in instantly or smartly like here, personalization two, personalization three, and these will then show up like this, like I was on your site, I saw you provide investment banking for software companies, this stood out as a strong use case of what we do. So these kind of icebreakers, we're going to go into more examples and everything in a second. Okay, so the end results will be something like this. When you click execute workflow, the workflow will start and it's going to be scraping the website here. It's going to be extracting the information, cleaning the company name, and then it's going to go node by node, personalizing, and you can have many as you wish. And then it's going to update an air table here and basically what happens is that we will get a new lead just enriched here with the icebreakers and when you have it like this you can run the automation and it will be populating each lead with the icebreakers and uh, openers like we can see here so it takes around 20 seconds maybe for one and uh, it's really a game changer when we have a list with this and we actually run cold email. So let's get back here. Strategy first, always plan before automation, send three, four emails per sequence. When you're planning your cold email campaign, I usually have three or four emails, first one, and then three more follow-ups. Map out where personalization fits, 
first line icebreaker, subject line, body references and stuff like this. So I'm gonna link down below a video where I actually talk more about copy and how to create it for each of these follow-ups and everything, you can check it out. But let's say you have already created your copy. And what I like to do when I'm doing this is actually writing out the copy and everything that you're gonna have, email one, email two, email three, email four. And then by looking at the data that you actually scraped, in this here case, I even like when I scraped, I got this big chunk of company description and I have the website, I have the like LinkedIn profile and stuff like this. And these are all points that you can actually leverage to create these personalized icebreakers. So in this case, I can just create a workflow to look at this company description and create something out of it or I can create a workflow to actually go and scrape the website and then from the scraping of the website, create something, an opener, or I can create a workflow to go on the personal LinkedIn profile, LinkedIn profile, and actually get information from there to use it in our openers. So I, I want you actually to get the mindset here right and to have these steps uh, as it should be. And uh, when you sit down and you create the copy and everything, then you need to be thinking, okay, what, depending on the niche, depending on what you're doing, this here is a SaaS for HR and it's helping like companies that are 500 plus. And uh, here we crafted the company, like have you seen this at company name, personalized opener idea, like icebreaker. And then we have the pitch. Most HR leaders I speak to juggle with four to six tools, for comms, service, recognition, it's messy, employees don't adapt them, and cost tech cap. Engage one puts it all into one hub, and then we have the pitch here, okay. And then we have uh, the second email, reminder plus benefits. We don't have any personalization here. And then here we have personalized opener as well, benefits, and here we have some personalization as well. And when you have it like this, then you start thinking, okay, what could be these personalizations? How could I do it? In this case, with the workflow that I just showed you, these are the personalizations. So you can imagine these like being instead of this one, like a variable with bright pads, focus on supporting individuals with developmental disabilities. I imagine keeping staff engaged and aligned is central to your mission. And then this would go on. So I usually create more of these and I'm thinking not only first email, which is the most important one, but I'm thinking as well, okay, what could I personalize in third email? I have their job title. Could I do something with this? I have their company LinkedIn page. Could I do something with this? And then you need to get a little bit creative here, right? Because you don't want to have like the same personalization and opener in uh, email three and email four, right? So when you nail this down and when you have these ideas, write them down, prepare it. You can even pause the video and go through it, okay? So you need to nail down the strategy first, like four emails, what's gonna be the copy and everything. And as I said, I will link down below videos where I talk more about this, about the copy or about the setup of, of the campaign. So this video is actually just focused on creating these openers and personalized um lines so tools and setup so for lead source you're going to be using apollo morena linkedin sales navigator whatever i cover this in different videos as well they're going to be linked below but you go and buy the list so you scrape it with appify with something you have a csv and you're gonna be wanting to enrich that right so workflow engine we're going to be using na10 data sources like company website, LinkedIn, Crunchbase, whatever, and AI prompts we have in here. So let's go into the NA10 workflow. It's pretty simple. I have it here on a schedule trigger. That's because sometimes errors pop up and uh, usually I like it uh, scheduled like each 30 minutes, in this case 15. If errors come up, that it just goes in rounds and finishes the full thing. Then we have Airtable in here and it's actually like filtering by enriched or not enriched. So we have here this field enriched. So if this is blank, it will pull leads. But if it's a yes, which we update in the last step, then it won't pull leads because we don't want to enrich the already enriched ones. Okay. Then here we have loop over items. In this case, we set it only like to five, but when you have it up and running, you test it with a smaller 
number when you have it up and running you click return all and you actually enrich all of them and then in here we have get website so from the pulling of the Airtable node we mapped out here get website you map it out pretty easily by just drag and dropping it here like this one hit this one and when we get the website we get a bunch of like html as you can see here so here we have a simple code node that's actually just cleaning the website and getting us a normal text like we have it here when we have the normal text we have here an um, ai node and its task is to actually take this website information that we just scraped and actually create something out of it so you're given a given a content from a company website summarize the most relevant insights into simple fields for personalization then we have some guides and then the output format should be about summary product summary top features customer sentiment and here's what we are getting like here we we didn't get a lot let me go back here okay here like about summary and it's like a summary of the website product summary top features and based on these runs like we're getting different ones sometimes we get customer sentiment sometimes not but still you can always like personalize this so based of this scrape that we just done we pull it in here as an input and we have this prompt to actually create these summaries then i like to always clean the company name so it's just a simple prompt you're an expert in refining company name and we just pull here the full like company name because usually a lot of the companies' names will be with um, LLC or something like you see here, Inc. When you're sending cold email, you don't actually want to have Inc or LLC. This screams AI and not uh, human-like because no one writes like that. So you want to clean it and then you want to update it as well. So I always have this like uh, cleaned company name. You see like these are all clean. And when we reference them, let's say in instantly, like here, then it's like AK, AQ technology. It's not AQ technology LLC or whatever. Okay. So let's get back here. We extracted this information. We cleaned it. We have here just a set node to set this here because some errors can pop up. And then these personalized nodes are for like your creativity, right? Based on the first steps and the strategy that you've done, like what are gonna be your emails and the ideas that you have for personalization, then you can play with these. You can create 10 of these if you wish, and I'm gonna guide you through some of these. So here we link like the information that we have about summary, product summary, top features, customer sentiment, company name, and it just pulls like these ones, right? So let me go with maybe this one, this example. And then here we have a prompt. You're a cold email copywriting expert using the company data provided. Craft fine short natural opener. Acknowledge what company does. Connected to the likelihood of challenge keeping employees. So this is for like this case. Guidelines, keep it one sentence under 25 words. Make it warm, conversational, not overly format. Explicitly bridge their mission services. And then output format. This one example with your company and then this year and we use here like a structured output parser because sometimes the output is not like as we want it but in a lot of cases you don't even need this one you can test without that and uh, get the same result but here's what we get like first opener with calibers scientific empowering discoveries i can see how fostering alignment among your team is essential to that mission so this is something that we could use and then the second one is like a little bit different right we here pull the company info because if you remember from the air table note we have here expertise company description when we pulled it through moarena we get the company description so this is without even scraping so we are just using dislike text and this one giving inputs to actually tell okay you have this information create a personalized opener based on this and then we get this one and then you can go on like you can mix it up with the information that you feed it in and with the prompt so how will you go these prompts obviously you won't be using the same ones right so you can start 
with like obviously just use chat gpt you can give it an example or something that's how i usually do it and you get some ideas right you you go through it you test you run it you see what's the opener you, you don't like it you like it you see how it looks like in the email does it make sense you go back you change it and you're like crafting these right and remember when you have a full like uh, idea of what the workflow is going to actually look like and your email sequence then you can have like openers not only for this one this stage but even thinking okay this is the goodbye email so what can i mention here and in here i think this one yeah we are mentioning based on the like job role so we pulled the job role and max employee size and minimal employee size as well and then based on that we are like personalizing okay as svp chief people officer at caliber and scientific leading 1000 to 5000 employees in uh, advancing scientific discovery must involve keeping teams aligned and engaged so we're actually using their job title and the company size and actually crafting some personalized lines so you need to get creative with this and basically when you hook it up on the on the last node either you're using google sheets or airtable i always like airtable because you don't get so many fail requests when you're doing it a lot airtable is a lot softer in that way and then you map it here with the id from the beginning you just pull it in here you don't need to touch these and then you map these results that you got here so you take personalized opener here and you just pull it here and then it will map out here and this is like the results right it's pulling these all of these and it's actually enriching them and in the enrich we have yes so that next time when it pulls leads it doesn't enrich the same ones okay when you get this right and let's say when you finish this so it will be pulling like five leads now when you click return all it will actually take all of them and it will go be going through the workflow you need to be checking like you can set error notifications or something like this but usually depending on your size list like if we have two three thousand people that are already verified and we want to send them it takes like three five hours to just let it run in the background and it goes one by one like here sometimes some company websites are like slow to load or they're rejecting and then sometimes one lead will get stuck you need to come back maybe kick it out or see what to do with it but as you can see it's kind of running smooth and it's enriching one by one all right so if you like what you see and if you want this exact workflow and you want to learn how to actually get amazing results with cold email not only create a personalization like this but actually the full infrastructure how to set it up step by step how to create these campaigns check out my school community down below you will have access to the prompts to the workflow and to much more to actually make cold email successful for you and if you're a business wanting to integrate this stuff for you i will link down below my agency and you can fill out form in there to book a meeting so we do it for you as well all right thank you for watching like share subscribe and see you in the next video